Welcome to the final installment of the Zugmo instructional video series. In this short video, I will demonstrate how to use some of the more advanced features of the Zugmo application for those of you brave enough to go there. Please remember that by default, Zugmo scans the desktop and my documents directories and selects all files there for backup. You can simply click backup and let Zugmo take care of the rest. Or if you want, you can customize the categories and get specific about files and directories you want Zugmo to back up for you. Click on the Categories button, select a category, and then right click. Here you can see the various options. Let's talk first about adding a category. This is something you might want to do if you want to add folders from directories other than your desktop and My Documents to personalize categories in a way that works better for you, or even to add a category for a file type that we might not have thought of. Once you've added a category, click Save. The new category will be immediately scanned, populated, and added to your backup set. You can remove this and any other category at any time by selecting the category, right-clicking, and selecting Remove Category. Another function is the Edit Category. Maybe, for example, I have some videos saved in a different drive that I want to add to the Videos and Movie Clips category. By selecting the relevant category and right-clicking, I'm able to do that. Next, let's check out some of the other advanced features by clicking on the Advanced button. Please note that not all functionality is active in the current version. Expect to see changes here in upcoming releases. In the General tab, you can enable and disable automatic sign-in and show tooltips. You can also reset to default any changes you've made to categories, but be aware that this will reset any and all changes. In the Partners File tab, you can change the location of where your partner's backups are saved by using the Browse button or entering a specific location change the amount of overall space you're committing to your partners, and check available space on drives on your computer. In this section called Defaults, there are several interesting options. Here you can decide if you want to automatically accept all partner requests. We suggest you carefully consider before activating this feature, as you might get requests from people you don't know. You can select to automatically delete your files that are stored on partners if they decide to remove you as a partner. You can also set the default amount of space offered and requested in the partner invitations you send out. Our default is two gigabytes each, but that can be easily changed by clicking on the up or down arrows. In the Backup tab, under Backup Methods, you can select how you would like backups to happen. You can choose among the following, Automatic, and select the Frequency, default is every two hours. Since the backup process can take some of your computer's juice and might disturb work you are doing, we've also added the ability for you to decide if you want to allow backups to happen only when your computer is not already hard at work. The default is 5%, but you can raise or lower this by clicking on the arrows. Scheduled, once per day at the time you select, or manual. Backup will only happen when you push the backup button. No matter which you choose, you can always initiate backups manually by pushing the backup button. The other backup tab functionality is not currently active. The Restore tab has some interesting functionality. Let's say you backed up your computer, including some files on the F drive. Unfortunately, your laptop was stolen, you now have a new computer, and you want to restore all of your backed up files to your new computer. If your new computer does not have an F drive, Zugmo knows that it is not able to restore those files to that specific location and instead creates a folder on C called Unrestorable and directs those files to it. You can change that default setting and direct the application to restore those files wherever you wish. You can also uncheck the box next to show this question if you don't want asked to be asked what to do about each file. The Router tab, if you are working with a home router, you will have improved backup and restore speeds if you set your router for port forwarding. You can find great detailed router-specific information on the website we have linked to, www.portforward.com. 
Once you set up port forwarding on your router, be sure to check the Use Port Forwarding box. UPnP fun functionality is not current active in this current version, but is coming soon. The Diagnostics tab is where you can enable logging. This is something we use to diagnose issues, and you should only enable if directed to do so by a member of the Zugmo technical support team. Thank you for downloading and installing Zugmo. I am sure you will sleep better at night knowing your files are backed up.